this is the dry handling circuit at Country Drain. With this test, we set an average lap time over three laps for each tyre. The circuit is 3.4 kilometres long and constantly twisting and turning, so it's quite difficult to set a consistent lap time, but that's what we have to do. And over the five tyres that we have on test here, we look for an average difference between the fastest and slowest of only about two seconds. When all the times were in, it emerged that the Goodyear Eagle F1 had performed the best on our Mercedes C-Class test car, but the Michelin's Pilot Sport had put in a better all-round showing, recording nine points across both cars. The Goodyear was second with eight points, and the Bridgestone Potenza third with six. This is the wet track, 1.8 kilometres in length and a mixture of fast and slow corners. Sprinklers keep the uh, water level consistent in depth and spread. We do an average of three lap times per tyre. And it was during our wet weather circuit laps that the Goodyear Eagle F1 began to stamp its mark on proceedings. It set the best wet times in both front and rear wheel drive tests, taking a maximum 10 points onto the next round and the overall lead from the Michelin. Tests. We repeated the same discipline five times on each car and in both dry and wet conditions. For this we're using this specially prepared Audi. As the car enters the test facility behind me, the wheels engage with the rail to make sure that the tyres are always at the same place in the track for each run. OK, wet braking, pretty straightforward. Starts at 80 kph, hits the anchors and measures the distance until rest. Looks pretty undramatic, but I guess that's the point. OK, dry braking, pretty much the same idea, but from 100 kph. <laughs> Michelin's Pilot Sport followed its excellent showing on the dry circuit, with the best dry surface stopping distances and maximum points in the dry braking assessment. In the wet braking tests, it didn't fare so impressively, being shaded by the Goodyear, Pirelli, Continental and Bridgestone. And so, after four out of our six assessments, the leaderboard looks like this. The Goodyear Eagle F1's near flawless wet weather prowess gave it a narrow lead over the excellence in the dry Michelin Pilot Sport, and both Continental and Bridgestone were tied for third place. Then came our aquaponing tests, and in order to excel here, a tyre must be designed to channel standing water away from the contact patch. OK, so we're standing next to the aquaplaning test track. We've got a rail and next to it a puddle 7mm in depth. The car is entering at 60 kph and increasing the speed until the point where the front axle is slipping. And hopefully we're not going to get too wet. This is the lateral aquaplaning test, or what happens if you come across a puddle mid-corner. Okay, so what we have here is a 200 metre radius track with a simulated flood halfway around. It's 5 millimetres in depth and what the drivers do is start at 60 kph and build up to 95 kph and look for the point where the lateral grip is breached. In the aquaplaning test, the standout tyre wasn't either of the front ones, but the Continental Conti Sport. It took 8 points out of 10 from the straight aquaplaning tests and 10 out of 10 from our aquaplaning and a curve tests. Other strong performers in resisting aquaplaning were the Goodyear and the Michelin. And so to the results. Our overall winner was the Goodyear Eagle F1, with an impressive 52.5 points out of a maximum of 70. Its wet weather brilliance was enough to shade the Michelin Pilot Sport, which was still excellent in dry conditions and scored 49 out of 70 overall. The Continental Conti Sports' impressive resistance to aquaplaning landed it third overall. The figures get more interesting the further you break them down though. It's worth noting that if you drive a front wheel drive car, you'll be interested to find out there was only half a point between the Goodyear and Michelin tyres after all our tests with the Mondeo. Alternatively, if your car is rear wheel driven, it's worth noting that the Bridgestone Potenza narrowly beat the Michelin Pilot Sport into third place in our tests on the C-Class.